Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christian with PerfectStockAlert.com. Today is Friday, June the 4th, 2010, and the markets tanked big time. And all I can say is, I told you so. Okay, let's show you what bulls did and where they went wrong, okay? I'm not going to, you know, nail you guys for, you know, being wrong or anything like that. I'm just going to show you guys where you went wrong and so you can learn from it, okay? Check this out. Now, I'm not going to go over all the indications that we're here telling you that this thing's going to tank. Um, I've already done that, so you have to go back and watch previous uh, market analysis videos. But I am going to show you right here what they were trying to do and why we warned against it. Uh, basically, we started shorting here. You got the this, this sell signal right there, and we told you you didn't have to play this. She would pull back, and sure enough, that's exactly what happened. And on this major sell day, we told you that was the peak. Uh, then you had a big bounce up here. We told you you could short that easily. She would go lower. Down she goes. At this point, uh, we said you still wanted to be shorting and short any bounce that would happen. Because obviously, stocks don't fall straight down. Sooner or later, you're going to get a bounce. And that's uh, at the same time, bulls looking at that saying, well, I'm going to play the bounce. And we were saying, don't do it. Um, if you try to go long on any of these particular days, you are now holding a loss. Uh, and we are holding a gain because we were shorting the bounce. Okay. The safe play was what we said, and the wrong play was what you said. Now, I'm not, you know, picking on you, not making fun of you, anything like that. I'm wearing your shirt, but, you know, it, it, you know, you live and learn, you know. You lost your shirt, and I've got it. So, ha-ha. For that one guy that was telling me, you know, on my comments and all that stuff about, hey, you're going to get burned. Well, uh, someone got burned. All right. I would stay short right here. Now, let me show you on the, on the NASDAQ why. Here's the NASDAQ, exact same situation. Good reversal signal right here. We told you it was time to go buy here. You could bot that guy up. You got a really bad, nasty sell signal here. Had to get out of the market there. Down she goes. Short again here. Down she goes. No reversal hammer signal. In fact, you get one, two, three inverted hammers. We told you do not buy this. Short the bounce. Uh, and again, you know, we were right. And she's going to go lower. How do we know? We know that because, let me get the tools, we pointed out yesterday, low point there, low point there, downtrend, low point here, low point here, uptrend. That's a bearish divergence. This is not trustworthy, and it's going to end up doing this number. Price will actually go below this uh, 20, well, wrong way, this 21 level. This 2100 level will actually break down, so this is going to do that, okay? Now you know. Uh, you can either listen to us this time or not. Just a, doesn't matter to me. I'm going to make the money regardless. So, I hope you do. And if you have, well, you're you know making all kinds of coin and have been since oh I don't know um, the peak. And uh, you know we're just here to make money, provide a free service for anybody who wants to listen to it. Can't go wrong there, right? Right. Been getting a lot of questions about oil. Um, <clears throat> we told you that we saw this as a sell signal. Uh, it was going to break down and go lower. That is actually happening. Um, here's the deal. I, I mentioned this before. I, I know it's making a good move lower. That's all great. And I know what that means. I know that uh, smart money is, doesn't see the recovery as true. They believe that it's going to go lower, and that's why they're driving down the price of oil. They know that um, uh, a weak economy uh, basically requires less oil. So you're going to have the, this thing going lower, but it's traded in U.S. dollars. And there are fundamental things you must keep in mind, several, which could cause price of oil to do this. So I don't want to take the risk on that trade. I'm not going to short oil. That's just my take. I know a lot of guys are making a killing out there doing that. More power to them. I'd keep a stop on the thing simply because, uh, like we said before, there's a U.S. Uh, a, the oil is traded in U.S. dollars, so if something happens to the U.S. dollar, which is possible, there are fundamental elements out there that could make that happen. Like, remember, uh, Moody's came out and gave us a warning that they would have to downgrade the U.S. debt if the recovery was not as robust as hoped for, and that's what's turning around. That's what's happening. That's what's developing right now, and when, as we go lower and lower in this market, it's going to push Moody's. They've backed themselves into a corner by making that statement, so as the markets go lower and lower, the odds of a Moody's downgrade becomes greater and greater, so forth, okay? And that could actually cause to be a disconnect between the price of oil and the U.S. dollar, so uh, yeah, I'd be cautious on that right there, okay? That's why I'm not messing with that. Also, someone was talking to me about gold. Let's check that out. 
So here, here's the setup with gold. Uh, we told you to go long here. We told you that time that the problems in Europe, uh, the concern with the solvency of the euro and this stuff is going to put a floor right about this level in um, uh, gold. And that was going to basically drive it up. And that's exactly what happened. Up she goes. Then we told you this is the, well, we told you, well, as we told you to buy, we told you what the resistance was. And uh, once she hit this level, we expect she's going to have to consolidate upon this level. So we told you to take your gains right here or place a stop. And if you get stopped out, then get out. Well, you got stopped out. Then you had another hammer formation right here telling you it's potential uh, buy opportunity. Again, the same level or just a little bit higher than the same level, showing that that floor is still there. And as she started to move up, we said you could actually buy this guy and trade her up back to this level where she would try to hit this level again. And that's exactly what happened. At this point, I am no longer a bull or a bear on uh, gold. It's just not something I'm I'm concerned with. Last night, there was some miscommunication in my video, and it got misunderstood uh, by a lot of people. So uh, I'm not a bear on, on gold, period. Uh, but I'm not a bull either. So I'm just uh, not going to try to short here because I believe that there's... Uh, you know, support here that can hold up as long as it wants to. There's also, if problems continue to uh, grow in Europe exponentially, you could see euphoria here and gold go much, much higher. So I don't want to short the situation. A lot of the charts that we look at every day are situations that I, you know, might be able to call for a day or two, but it's not enough play in them. There's not enough uh, certainty for me to get involved in them. So I'll pass on more charts than I ever, you know, get involved in. So uh, this is one that I would just I would pass on and then there's other situations where I'll see good opportunities But there's other things that keep me away from like I was talking about oil a moment ago So, you know, it's more than just technicals or more than just you know And markets going down. I'm going to short anything, you know stack the odds in your favor If you're going to start shorting short bad companies don't short good ones, you know um, You're just going to have a better opportunity in really cruddy companies now I know a lot of the cruddy companies are already lower price stock 10 12 15 that kind of thing and people don't some people don't want that. So, you know, you may have your own criteria as well, but I'm just telling you what mine is, and I'm not really allowed to tell you what to do. I can only tell you what I'm doing and uh, how, I would, how I would trade a market, okay? That's basically how that works. But it only works if you listen to me. So if you're a bull out there and you're like, no, you don't know nothing. I'm wearing your shirt. I'm wearing your shirt. Ha, ha, ha. We encourage you to visit our free website at perfectstockalert.com. Have a look at our disclaimer. It's just our opinion, what we're telling you. We just happen to be right almost all the time. And uh, we'd love to have you at our website. All we ask in return for our free service is that you refer a friend. Tell somebody, anybody, to go check out perfectstockalert.com. They're awesomely accurate. Those people are making tons of money. It's not costing them a darn dime. Wow. It's an amazing way to run a business. It's great. And uh, we could use some support, though. You need to be subscribing to our YouTube channel. That'd be awesome. Share our videos online. Yes, we're going to talk trash to people that are wrong, you know. But only if they come and post comments on our videos about, you're going to be wrong. Because then it's like, uh, it's a fight, you know. Who's right? Who's wrong? We're going to call you out, you know. If you're wrong and you try to shake us, we are going to nail you, all right. Uh, but if you were wrong just because you didn't know any better, hey, man, we're here to help you learn. That's it, you know. So uh, God bless. Enjoy your weekend. I got a party to go to. Um, I'm going to go spend some of my newfound wealth. And uh, take care. God bless. And I'll see you all Monday.